Huh. You know, intern, it's kind of hard to take a quick lunch break when we can't even access, like, the lunch area. Look at how packed this place is. How are we supposed to get in here? Ugh, at least it should make the little the challenge that our bosses gave us a little bit easier. I all right, a guest sitting on a bench and a guest holding a soda. Well, look, here's a guest holding a soda. So we can send uh, these pictures off to our boss and they can know that we're doing we're doing pretty good. They might not like the crowd. Uh, uh, did that work? You're holding a soda, young man. Oh, we've had problems with this before. Oh, wait, is that a soda? Miss, miss, hold still. I think you're holding a soda. Nope, that's a water. Is that a soda? Ah! It just doesn't seem to want... Oh, you know what? Maybe if we just gently... <laughs> the bosses never need to know. Let's just uh, say that that email was lost, okay, intern? Because we've had trouble with that before. Who, who really wants to sit and spend that much time, like, worrying about things? Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, one second, intern. All right, we're going to... Mm, da -dun, da -dun. Island zone. I just don't want to lose the adorable pictures we've taken of our new baby I I and the really happy little koala and the happy guest. Oh, I'm so happy that our koalas are happy again. I cannot tell you how worried I was about them because they just were not content and nothing we did seemed to be able to make them happy. But oh and the cassowary eggs we found. Oh, but we were able to make our, our little koala so happy now. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now everything's good. Hopefully the bosses will just be like, oh fine, forget that and we'll send you a new assignment. Ah, but we definitely need to, to work a little bit on this in turn because this is ridiculous in terms of getting people fed. And I think we could make quite a bit more money for the zoo, which is important because that helps us take good care of our animals. Oh, what's this? A geyser? What? Oh, and the eye is pregnant again? What? Should we add a geyser to the koala exhibit? Can we add a geyser? Like, just right there to the koala exhibit? Is that a thing we can do? Whoa! Oh, look at the babies! They're climbing in their side of the tree! I wonder what this does. Huh. Huh. Well, and speaking of the koalas, that lunch break was kind of short because we couldn't really work our way through. <laughs> through the lunch line, so we'll have to fix that. But speaking of the koalas... <gasps> Hector's dolphin's going to give birth! Hector's dolphin is given birth! Oh my gosh, intern! It looks like it was a little boy! All right, let's take the, the, the little balloons. Okay, we're gonna put the celebratory balloons right here. And then let us dive in. Oh, beautiful. Hello! Oh, and then cassowaries are hatching. Hello, everyone! Oh, look at them! The Mahi Mahi are doing a little mating dance. Oh, they're gorgeous. Oh, and there's the Hector's dolphin. Oh, look at all the Mahi Mahi. Intern. Intern, this is beautiful. Oh, there's the baby. I think I see the baby. Oh, that's definitely the baby. Oh, little one, look at you. You're the member of one of the smallest dolphin families that exists, little one. Oh, intern, I love the sound of, like, its tail hitting the water. Hello! Hello! Oh, aren't they beautiful? I really could just sit and watch the dolphins alone all day. Oh, come back, come back! You're so pretty, I want to look at you some more. Oh, look at the fisher mating. We're, we're becoming famous for this zoo being a great fish breeding research center. Oh, come back, little one. Where are you going? Following mom and dad. Wait, those are the big ones. <gasps> are they making more babies? Little one, you're going to have a sibling. Where'd you go? Man, they're hard to find sometimes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> they're very playful, though. Oh, and Bolivia has just given birth. What? I didn't even know the other koala was pregnant. They're moving so quickly. Oh, goodness gracious. And there is a lot, a lot, a lot for the, let's see, let's put a little pursuit ball in there for the Hector's dolphins and see if they'll, they'll enjoy that or not. I think that they might. Also, let's just a couple more of the things in the ground. Never hurts to have more greenery down there. What? Oh no, intern! A sudden power surge hit your zoo. For the most part, it only take, it only made the lights flicker a little. Unfortunately, though, it did blow out the delicate electronics in your tank filters, and now they're all broken. 
The good news is that your tank filters are insured. The bad news is that it takes a while for the insurance company to process your claim. You can choose to wait until your insurance company delivers new filters for free, or you can buy new filters immediately. Well, there goes our relaxing swim with the dolphins and turn right out the window. Let's see. If you choose the insurance claim, you must wait two months for the insurance company to process it and deliver your new filters at no charge. In addition, the company will pay you $55,000 settlement to cover the unexpected expenses. While you're awaiting the claim, you cannot purchase new filters. Instead, you and the zookeepers must keep the new tanks clean by hand. Hmm, nope, we're buying new filters. We're not gonna wait around, because that's too important in turn, just much too important. And thankfully, we only have a few filters too. Oh, and look how happy everybody is. Also, there's a piece of trash. Oh, I think this woman's stuck. Oh no! Okay, well that's not gonna work. Um, do people use this table right here? They sure as heck do! Alright, well, let's just get right in here. Uh, if we can, can I just wiggle over here? Okay, thank you very much. Hmm. Let's put something there, so that, so that people can't accidentally, like, end up... There we go, we'll take that out. And then, oh, I hear the baby koala! It's yelling, it's so cute! It's a little... Making its little noise. There we go. There's a tree! Alright, you guys, don't, don't go past the tree, please. That tree uh, marks off special area. All right, Ooh, we're gonna just decorate this while we're while we're here in turn. All right, clean this up a little bit. The birds, thankfully, have a zookeeper, so they should calm down about their exhibit being messy. I'm getting lots of text messages from my zookeepers. That's what you're there for, guys. Poop scooping 101. All right, let's come this way. There we go. There. Nice bit of greenery. Bosses should like that. Alright. And can I get you in here? There. Now hopefully people will stay out of this spot. Because there's plants. And it's rude to step on plants and turn very rude. At least I hope that they feel that way too. Alright, the red parrotfish has given birth. The cassowaries are hatching left and right. And we still have a little problem right here to solve and turn. Oh, and then there's there's little birdies complaining about being in stinky exhibits. What? Oh man, I I said buy new filters. Why? Oh no, we were supposed to buy new filters. <laughs> this isn't fair. This wasn't part of the deal. Help! Help! All right, new filter, new filter, new filter, new filter. Oh, that's better. That's better. I know that they're expensive in turn, but they're so worth it. There. All right, let's get over to here. That really sucks because we just bought a whole bunch of them, and I guess they're all they're all duds now. All right, then let's put these right here. Man, what an expensive little little power outage that was. But you know, you never know with the monsoons and the rains that show up on this island. Just what's going to happen? Guess would like a place to sit and eat. Well, I would love to provide you with a place to sit and eat. Um. You know what, intern? I think we're just gonna have to have a, a straight-up restaurant right here. Uh, cause that's just gonna have to accommodate the guests wanting a place to sit down and to eat. So let's see if we can get a nice restaurant. I think we should be able to. Oh, and also an ATM. Because we have had people request ATMs lately. There we go, there's an ATM. Oh, it begins! I hear the little koala, baby! I don't know! I don't know! Did you know, and this is an interesting, if somewhat uh, not lunchtime appropriate fact in turn, but the koala babies actually eat their koala mother's poop. And that is very important, believe it or not. And by the way, speaking of poop, let's get a compost bin. Because the bacteria, oop, oh, oop, oh, oop, oh, let's see, jeep tour. Huh, I wonder if we could do some sort of jeep tour with the island animals that we have. Like perhaps the Komodo dragons. Perhaps we could add the Komodo dragons in with a jeep tour. Hmm. 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 That does sound like a pretty cool idea, actually. Ooh, let's do it. Let's do a Komodo dragon jeep tour. All right, we'll do that in just a little bit. First things first. But yes, so the koala baby, or yeah, the koala baby will eat its mother's feces because it has vital bacteria that it needs in order to process. Ooh, pineapple seafood stand. We're getting that in turn. In order to process the eucalyptus leaves that they eat, which are highly toxic. The reason that koalas tend to sleep all day is not because they're lazy, but because they need uh, a lot of energy to process the, the toxic leaves that they do eat. Oh my goodness, so many stands. Oh, there we go, finally. 
I was like, where is it? The deep diner cafe on the bay. Let us build a cafe on the bay. Goodness, it's gonna be a little bit of a tight fit if we put it in here. Hmm. But this is like the eatery hotspot for all of our guests. I think it'll be okay. We'll just have to kind of renovate things a little bit. Oh good, the discovery kiosk is done. Uh, I wanna put that kind of over here. Can I put it like this? Like this? Like this? There we go. Well, actually, let's not put a discovery kiosk there. Let's put one of the, um... Yes, I know guests would like a place to sit and eat. We're getting to it, I promise. Let's put a, a touch pool. Because the touch pools, I think, are absolutely fantastic. They're great for getting kids involved. Oh, that's too big, though. Hmm. Uh, alright. Tell you what. Let's swap out... Tell you what. Let's put... Yeah, let's put a touch pool over here. Uh, at an angle, right there. Because that's a big empty area, and I think I should still be able to walk around it. Let's keep an eye. This young boy is our, is our test subject. He turned around. That's not a good sign. This one's coming to play. Can this lady walk past the touch pool? Can you walk past the touch pool? Yes! It looks like it's a bit of a tight squeeze, though. Hmm... Hmm, can you make it? Oh, hey, look at that! We got the Dolphin Award thing. That's very nice, very nice indeed. What's your problem, young sir? Can't see any animals from here? Come on down here and you'll be happy. Whoops, no, go into the, let's, we're not supposed to throw guests into the aquarium in turn. Okay, never mind, never mind with the touch pole then. Fine, be that way you guys. They're all complaining because they can't walk past it now. Well, we'll put the touch pole over here. And then if anyone wants to walk over there, we'll eventually expand this way. And then people can admire it. Alright, let's see. Come on, Blue! Polaris, why are you so hungry? Are you trapped somewhere? Whoa, there's our geyser! You know, in turn, as cool as it is, I think the geyser is a little over the top. And, and it's preventing our koalas from being able to reach things. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that was a little bit over the top, but it was really cool. So we'll have to add it to, say, the Komodo Dragon area, because that was really, really neat looking. All right. Cafe on the Bay is complete. So we're going to have to send everyone out. Shoo. Shoo. Everyone. Everyone. Pardon me. I need all of you to move. We're about to renovate this area. Pardon. Pardon. I need all of you. All of you to move, please. Uh, we'll just go ahead and move these things over here for now, because we're going to be expanding out there soon, intern. I think a Komodo Dragon Jeep Tour exhibit is a good goal to have. They are indeed island animals that we have been holding off on adding for quite a while because we're waiting to be able to entertain the island side of things. Alright, then we're going to grab these umbrella trees. Why the heck not? We'll just move you guys out here too, for now. Why waste, in turn? It really takes a lot of resources to get things out to an island. I have family out in Hawaii, and they're often telling me how expensive things as simple as milk is. Uh, like, you know, seven or eight bottle or seven or eight dollars a gallon for milk, which is very high. But, you know, when you live on an island, there's very limited resources. So that's just kind of the way things end up. All right, and then we're going to scoop them these plants over, in turn. There we go, little plants, little plants. The koalas are so noisy! That's one of the other things I learned in researching them in turn is that they're very noisy. Alright, cafe on the bay. There we go. I think if we put it right here it should be okay, which means this gentleman needs to scooch. Or else he will be smushed like the Wicked Witch of the West. Alright, is that gonna do it? Alright, cafe on the bay. Ma'am, you're gonna need to move too. Child, you too. And BAM! A new eatery is in town! Wonderful, wonderful. Boom. Alright, and then let us make the prices... Oh, what can you eat here? Fruits, a plate covered with an assortment of seafood. A Filipino dessert consisting of shaved ice and milk topped with an assortment of fruit. And a refreshing drink served in a coconut. Ooh, nice! So there's a lot of interesting stuff you can do. Okay, now let's see. What's going on? Uh, Belarus is still really hungry. What you doing, Belarus? You should have plenty of food. She's busy climbing a tree fern. We'll put some food on the ground just in case it's easy that way. There we go. I don't think they'd prefer it, but hopefully it'll be easier. 
Oh, the never-ending screaming of the koala baby. Who's making all that noise? What's going on? Hmm? Is it you? What's up? What's up? Why are you so heartbroken? Why are your needs not being met? Where's your mom? Bolivia! Bolivia! Bolivia? Why are you not... Why are you not child... Child taken care of? Hmm? 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 There you go. I think it was the geyser in turn. That was my bad. Are things gonna be better now? Okay, your baby's running around. There you go. That's better. That's better. No more crying baby. Much better. Much, much better. Alright, what's going on with the... the whoops. Whoops. Hey, hey, ugh. Well, now we made it so our zookeepers can't get to the... Okay, tree fern. Ugh. And the people are stuck again! Okay, we're gonna have to do something about this one turn. This is not working. Let's scoot the ice cream snacks right here. And then hopefully that'll clear things up a little bit. Oh, listen to the dolphins! Alright, there we go. Hopefully that'll help with everyone being able to get where they need to go. Yep, there goes our zookeeper. There the, there go the guests. Oh, I, I one is giving birth again! <gasps> she has more babies! Alright, bananas. What's going on here? Are we watching an aye birth? Oh, the aye aye. Oh, you're being cute. I actually personally think the aye aye is rather adorable in turn. Is she, is she going over here? Is this even her? Am I even looking at her? She could be over there. Oh! Oh, there it is! Welcome, new baby! Oh! Look at them! Oh! And people are so happy because our fish are busy laying eggs and doing things over here. I wish that means they would buy things, but no one has bought anything from this gift shop in ages, actually, in turn. I wonder what that means. We should probably think about moving it. How's the cafe on the bay doing? Meanwhile, the cafe on the bay is seeing good profits. Uh, so we might reconsider our layout a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and we have people all the way out here. <laughs> all right, intern. Well, things seem to be going pretty well. The, the, like, koalas are finally happy and content. We're getting places. We're doing things. Now, let me see what we have to pick from in terms of adding more critters to our zoo. So who should be next for our island zone exhibits? Hmm. Hmm. South Island Takahi? I always like them. They're very, very nice little ones. Let's see. Not the Siamese tigerfish, I don't think. Alright. Let's see. What about coastal animals? Mm-hmm. 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 Maybe, maybe a shark tank or a leatherback turtle tank especially would be very interesting. Uh, leatherback turtles are, their numbers are critically getting quite low. And I think that they're absolutely fantastic animals. Let's see, the endo... No, 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 that's more for perhaps another one of our areas. Let's see, Benjamin Scrublands. What's Pampa? Nope, nope, nope. Not those guys. There's a lot to pick from in turn. Quite a lot to pick from. Let's look at what's endangered. Let's do it from that point of view. Like this spotted deer. This adorable spotted deer actually happens to be an island animal, so we might consider that one. Um, who else? The hammerhead. I would love to see some hammerheads. They're absolutely fascinating creatures. Let's see. Oh, the Galapagos turtle. Of course, we're gonna have to have the giant Galapagos tortoise. It's definitely gonna have to be one of the animals that you can see. I wonder if we can put a jeep tour through multiple exhibits. I think we can in turn, because then we could have like the Galapagos tortoise on one side and the Komodo dragons on another. If we have Komodo dragons. You know, I have never looked into that. And I feel a little bit silly for it, but we'll definitely look into that. Alright, let me see real fast. What else, what else, what else would we consider? There's just so much. Oh, and Romania is pregnant again. Yep, that's going in line with what I learned that koalas will basically mate whenever they have the opportunity. Ooh, the Borneo Clouded Leopard. Mmm, very tempting. Very tempting indeed. I love the Borneo Clouded Leopard. Alright, how are we doing over here? Alright, well I'm gonna do a little more research in turn. We might even bring some of our Kazumo Island Raccoons over here. 
Uh, and we'll figure out more things to add, like the spotted eagle rays. I would love to do just a ray exhibit that you could walk through. That would be really beautiful. Ah, oh, maybe like a tunnel exhibit? That would be so nice! So what we're gonna look into is if we have Komodo dragons, potentially a Komodo dragon uh, jeep tour area with Galapagos turtles, and then we'll have some rays. Uh, there's been discussion about having maybe a small whale exhibit, meaning a big exhibit, but a small whale. So we'll look into that too, because we've been working with some groups who want to donate some whales to us uh, in order to, like they're ones that can't be released back to the wild, because you know how I feel about having whales and exhibits and zoos in turn. Not strongly, and not strongly indeed, but... Oh, everything's, everything's looking, looking up, looking much, much better. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy in turn, but it is getting late and we have been here extra long today, so you go home and get home, well, to your hotel. I'll meet you there later, because, <laughs> uh, you know, we'll sit down and have a nice coconut drink, watch the beautiful waves, and then in the morning we will get back to work adding some new fantastic exhibits. Oh, it should be a lot of fun. I can't wait. <laughs> and now we have the eternal sound of koalas in our ears. That's kind of amazing. Oh, kind of amazing indeed. Maybe we'll add some, some kangaroos. We'll figure it out in turn. Maybe we'll add kangaroos over here just for the heck of it. That's an island technically, you know? Yeah, it's an island continent, so there you go. Maybe we'll add kangaroos. That would be cool. <sighs> Alright, internal. I'll see you tomorrow, and thank you so much for your help today. Bye-bye!